St. John Birchman's, Confessor, 1621, Rome, 22. This young saint of the Society of Jesus was born in Flanders, the oldest of five children. He grew up in an atmosphere of political turmoil caused by a religious war between the Catholic and Protestant sections of the Netherlands. He studied at the gymnasium at Diest and worked as a servant in the household of Canon John Froymont at Malines in order to continue his studies. In 1615, the Jesuits opened a college at Malines, and St. John Birchman's was one of the first to enter. He was an energetic student and was the leader among the students. In 1616, he entered the Jesuit novitiate at Malines and came under the influence of Father Antoine Suquet. The young Birchmans developed a strong and deep spirituality based on the loving practice of fidelity. Saint Aloysius of Gonzaga was his spiritual model, and he was influenced as well by the example of the Jesuit English martyrs. It was his realistic appreciation for the value of ordinary things, a characteristic of the Flemish mystical tradition, that constituted his holiness. He was affable, kind, and endowed with an outgoing personality that endeared him to everyone. In 1618, he was sent to Rome to study philosophy and was an exceptional student. He requested after ordination to become a chaplain in the army, hoping to be martyred on the battlefield. In the summer of 1619, the intense heat of Rome started to affect his health and he began progressively to get weaker. The doctors could not determine what was wrong, and for two years he was continually sick, requiring medical care, and as the summer of 1621 came, it was clear that he would not last long. He died peacefully on August 13, 1621, and numerous miracles were attributed to him at the time of his funeral. He was beatified by Pope Pius IX in 1865 and canonized by Pope Leo XIII in 1888. His body lies in the Church of St. Ignatius in Rome, where Aloysius of Gonzaga is also buried. The miracle that led to his canonization occurred at the Academy of the Sacred Heart in Grand Coteau, Louisiana. In 1866, one year after the Civil War, he appeared to novice Mary Wilson. Mary's health was poor, and her parents thought that the gentler climate of South Louisiana could be a remedy. However, her health continued to decline, to the point where for about 40 days she had only been able to take liquids. Being unable to speak, I said in my heart, Lord, thou who seest how I suffer, if it be for your honor and glory and the salvation of my soul, I ask through the intercession of blessed Birchman's a little relief and health. Otherwise give me patience to the end. She went on to describe how John Birchman's then appeared to her, and she was immediately healed. When the academy opened a boys' school in 2006, the trustees named it St. John Birchman's School. It is the only shrine at the exact location of a confirmed miracle in the United States. In 1902, Bishop Anthony Durier requested that the Jesuits establish a second parish in Shreveport. They named the parish in honor of the saint because of the miracle experienced by Mary Wilson in nearby Grand Coteau, Louisiana. On the 16th of June 1986, Pope John Paul II established the Diocese of Shreveport and St. John Birchman's Church became the cathedral. Like St. Therese of Lisieux, St. John Birchman's was not noted for anything extraordinary. He made kindness and courtesy as well as constant fidelity an important part of his holiness. The path to holiness lies in the ordinary rather than the extraordinary. That is a lesson that some learn only late in life. Feed the flock of God. Care for it willingly not grudgingly. Not for what you will get out of it, but because you are eager to serve the Lord. And when the head shepherd comes, your reward will be a never-ending share in his glory and honor. Amen.